Good morning, great morning. Welcome once again to Searching the Scriptures. We are on an intentional course. I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I've been experiencing. You know, the song, um, The One Thing I Desire and That Will I Seek After, uh, came to me because I had lost my earbuds, the case and the earbuds. <laughs> I cannot find them anyway. And I said, okay, Lord, the enemy got one thing up on me. I cannot find them things anyway, but that song came to me. One thing that I desire and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. That one thing made me think about um, Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus. That one thing that is most needful. That is what she was doing. So the one thing that is most needful is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. That I may dwell in the house. Everything else is secondary. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Ear bulbs, everything is secondary. Even he said denying mother, father, sister, brother, and even denying yourself. So we're going to read a little bit and pray a little bit about Psalms 27. The one thing that I desire and that will lot because God said he's going to give us desires of our hearts. So we only need to desire one thing. We talking about being single-minded the other day and not be double-minded. I got the Lord in view. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right, I am seeking after him. The one thing that I desire and that will I seek after. And I thank God this morning because he's reminding me. Psalms 27 and verse 4. 4. We're going to read that. And because if all that we do is the enemy coming to disturb our peace. <laughs> he come because he know I like to have them little earbuds in because it makes the uh, recording um people can hear it better. And uh, I've been communicating with some of the other saints through the YouTube um where the enemy is troubling them about their relationship with God. First of all, God has begun his relationship with you. He the one sought you. He the one went out to redeem you. He went out and found you. So he not going to let you go. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. You can let the devil know. My Savior, he sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. I love him ere I knew him. All my love is to him. <laughs> so we got to remind ourselves and the circumstances that God has begun the work in us. Thank you, Jesus. God himself had begun to work. Thank you, Jesus. And so we're going to sing a little bit more song. One thing that I desire and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. That's my desire, okay? Let's pray. Father, we thank and praise you. First of all, we're not keeping ourselves. We got to remember that. You are a keeper of our souls. You are the bishop. You are the captain. Thank you, Jesus. We thank and praise you, for you are more than able to keep that which we have committed unto you. Thank you, Jesus. We have the victory even by our faith in you. Thank you for the Bible tells us clearly, Lord, and not only in that, it, you have spoken it to our souls that you know those that are yours. And those who run to you for reference shall not be ashamed. Thank you, Jesus. We thank and praise you that we cast down every uh, stronghold, cast down every thought, bring it into captivity to the knowledge and obedience of Christ. We are more than conquerors. Thank you, Jesus, through Christ, which strengthens us. And the one thing we desire, and that is what we will seek after, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord. We dwell in your house, for we commit ourselves into your hands, the keeper of our souls. Thank you, Jesus. We shall not be moved. We are the planting of the Lord. We declare and decree, O oh God, we have the victory. The victory has already been won in Christ, for you have declared the end from the beginning. Thank you. Praise you, Lord God. We're not going to worry about these little things because you are the one who is ordering our steps. You are directing our path. I thank and praise you, Lord God, for filling our mouth with good things and we commit ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. So we're going to say thank God that those earbuds, if they come back and they don't come back, the thing that's most important to you is your soul, and you have committed it to Jesus. He is the keeper of our souls. That's the only thing that matters, really. Okay, Psalm 27 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. David said one time, they, that the hole they don't dug for you, 
they're going to fall into it themselves. Though a host it should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. I will be confident. Thank you. He told me one time, cast not away your confidence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty, hallelujah, of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. I thank and praise that we are established upon the rock. Hallelujah. That rock is Christ. Thank you, Jesus. We are placed on the rock. He talking about building his sanctuary. And we are vessels tried and uh, vessels placed upon the rock. And now shall my head be lifted up. Not hung down. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, your everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Double shut the Lord mighty in battle. You got to preach to yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> One thing. That I desire, and that will I seek. Not about whether there's, like, or back and whether there's the things in the barn, or it was there's money, whatever, thank you, Jesus. Whatever's going on in this earth, thank you, Jesus. I am seeking the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, and have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Thy face will I seek. I'm seeking you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Leave me not. He promised not to leave me. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and my father forsake me. I can say that too. My father, they're gone. Okay. Then the Lord will take me up. Thank you, Jesus. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Because of my enemies, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Lord, have mercy. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, in this land, I would have fainted. Thank you, Jesus. Wait on the Lord. This is a message. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever's going on, just trust God that he is the one is keeping you. Thank you, Jesus. I was talking with my, one of my sisters, Rosalyn. And Rosalyn, if you're listening, God is the keeper of your soul. He's the author and finisher of your faith. He begun the work in you. He will perform it. Thank you, Jesus. He's more than able. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing in this world, nothing. Thank you, Jesus, can stop him from what he's planned and purpose in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All these little thoughts flood our souls with doubt, fear, anxiety, anxiousness. Thank you, Jesus. But you do, do like me. Because the enemy want me to be anxious about them earbuds. He want me to be upset about them. And, of course, they cost money. There was a gift and everything. But, anyway, the one thing I desire... <laughs> And that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm on my way, on my way home, oh, on my way home. <laughs> I'm on my way home. Thank you, Jesus. So I pray that you encourage and listen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Paul said, pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. If anyone get to settle down on this stuff over here, they don't have enough money. Everybody shut you. You don't have this here. Your hair coming out. You don't got cancer. You don't have hip surgery. You don't have this. Thank you. I know what the word say. I am a new creature. Old things have passed away, and it does not yet appear what I shall be. But I know when he appeared, Jesus appeared, I shall be like him. I'm going to see him as he is. Job said, I shall come forth as pure gold. <laughs> you got to keep that hope in you and keep a song on your mind. 
knowing you. So, Sister Rosalind, God has you. Thank you, Jesus. If you was keeping yourself, if we was keeping ourselves, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to do it. Because we like, oh, Lord, have mercy. But God is the keeper of our soul. And I pray that you be encouraged and do like me. One thing that I desire and that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. That's it. Period. <laughs> one thing. They got that one thing. One thing. And that's what I seek after. Let's keep focus on what we are moving forward toward. It ain't now about houses and land. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It ain't even about all of that. It's about being in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. And joy, unspeakable joy. Listen, we're still on a journey. There's some other things, but I had to come and give you a little witness of what's going on in my life. <laughs> and some other people's lives, too, that's been texting me. We have the victory through Christ. Thank you, Jesus. He begun the work. He already done counted the cross. He knew what kind of material he's using. Uh, uh, despised, rejected, those things. Look at the, the type of vessels he chose. For what reason? He chose you and me so that no flesh would glory. Because there's nothing in this flesh I can glory about, okay? Losing my hair, cancer. All kinds of stuff I can see happening on this side of Jordan. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm going to cross over. In fact, we're already sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. This is not our end. Be encouraged and sing that song. One thing that I desire and that will I seek after. Get your tambourine. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Listen, saints, we're going to have to keep a joyful sound, a joyful sound coming out of our mouth because God is able. Thank you, Jesus. I keep saying, listen, devil, you know God is able. You know who he is. Thank you, Jesus. Say the devil know who God is. He's he trembling. Thank you. He know because we have been chosen, <laughs> predestined. To be conformed into the image of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And there's a lot more material in the scriptures. Okay. I just wanted to um put a little plug in for my book. It, I wrote it. This book here is, is Behold My Beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Theophanes of Christ in Redemption as the Son, as the seed, the Son, the Lamb, the Liar. This particular book, which I'm not that well in in my vocabulary and words. So, but I got all of this and actually shortened it during the time when I got diagnosed with cancer. I retreated in my spirit back to the word. And there's some things in this book um, that I think, I think I'm going to go on Amazon and put it for like $5. I haven't really, I don't think I've been selling any of them because I didn't really push the book because of the way I wrote in it and some misspellings and stuff. But I said, you know what? I'm 72, Lord, at this age. And there's some good information in here. If you can get past the, my flaws, <laughs> you could go on. And it's on Amazon, Behold My Beloved Son. Um, and it was written by me. And I think in it that you can find some things that relate to the end times. Um, and I felt that those things that God had given me about seasons of afflictions and um, God, um, the rod of the shepherd coming and... Uh, the inquisition of God for the blood. There, there's certain things that, that a, a lot of the scriptures is, is written in here. A lot of the scriptures. So I'm just going to go on Amazon. I've been on Amazon in a while because I kind of like pushed my own book aside because I was, wasn't happy with uh, my um, being able to write it. But the scriptures are still true. <laughs> I got to look past sometimes my own flaws. Sometimes the enemy try to say, well, you need to go back to school and get your, your vocabulary. I said, you know what? I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. I am not going to be worried about all of these things. As uh, as people say, I'm not eloquently speaking and, and I don't have this. I'm not the only one who said that. You got Moses said, the Lord, I can stop. I'm, I'm um, uh, what you say, is, uh, stuttering. Okay, but God knows who he's, uh, he picked. He picked me too. To give me this word, I thank him for it myself. And I know when I get home, I will be perfected. For he will perfect that which concerns me. 
I think all of you who listen and tolerate are very tolerant and patient, and that is God in you. Continue to pray much one for another and sing songs because you're not going to be made perfect until you see Jesus. <laughs> then you're going to be made perfect because you don't even know what you're going to be. He said it does not appear what you shall be, but when Christ appears, you shall be like him. Thank you, Jesus. And I just thank him for the work that he be going. And I know he's able to do it. And Rosalind and everyone else on this thing who's feeling about your flaws, just continue to sing. Sing and, and, and be happy because you know God himself has begun to work in you. He will perform it. I just want to encourage you. So I'm going to get on Amazon and see if I can find it myself. And um, I may uh, add the, uh, the Amazon link on the bottom of this one if you're interested. Okay, and if you're not, it's okay too. We just continue on the way we're doing now. But I love you, God loves you, and remember this morning, I still haven't found them earbuds. I don't look everywhere, but wherever they are, God knows where they are, and He let me know the thing that you need to desire, and that's what you need to seek out. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord, hallelujah. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever and ever. That's what I need to be desiring. Everything else secondary. So be blessed. Let us close out. Father, we thank and praise you, first of all, for putting a song of joy for the spirit of heaviness, the garment of praise. I thank and praise you for all my sisters and brothers will have a spirit of the garment of praise on this day, Lord God. Whatever that is troubling them, whatever is coming in their way, whatever is happening, Lord God, help them to continue to desire you and to seek after you, Lord God. Help us all to consider our shut to seek after you, Lord, and to give you glory, honor, and praise. For we thank and praise you that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we even ask or think, according to the power which worketh in us. That is the power of your Holy Spirit. And we thank and praise you that we are victorious. We are more than conquerors through you, which strengthen us. We give ourselves to you this day, and we say yes, Lord, to your will, your way, and your word. And we thank you for putting a song in our mouth, a dancing in our feet, Lord God, and this your peace which surpasses all understanding, keeping our heart, mind, and soul. Bless my sister Rosalind. Encourage her by Sakoshe, Lord God, and every soul that we praying for. Lord, you hold them in your hands too, because even the fowls of the birds and the sands and the hairs on all that you in your hands, Lord God. Thank and praise you. We know that you are the uh, almighty God, and there is nothing too hard for you. We put our trust in you, and we ask you to continue to have your way as we yield our body, mind, and soul unto you. It's in Jesus' name we pray and count it done. Amen. Amen. One thing. Sing a song. That's what you do. Yeah, thank you. Just start praising God. Just, just giving Him glory. Just, just praising Him. Just praising Him. <laughs> Let's just sing praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise. Okay. Be blessed. Continue to push the like button as we continue on in this pathway, in this pilgrim journey. Amen.